My lesson fans, we need to talk. Now, some of you know that I have been reading Dead House Gates for the past two or three months. Some of you have been asking, how's the reading going? Have you finished it? Have you stopped reading it? What is going on? So just a brief recap if you have watched any of my previous videos. Basically, I read Dead House Gates. No, sorry. I read Goddess of the Moon around two years ago. And then I got around halfway through Dead House Gates and I DNF'd it. Now, three months ago, I just felt this series starting to call back to me. And it's probably because I've heard so many reviews since then that just praise it. Maybe I'll listen a bit too much to Philip Chase who says this is the best series ever. My number one is Steven Erickson's The Malazan Book of the Fallen along with his Carcanus trilogy, and along with Ian Esselmont's Path to Ascendancy, and his novels of the Malazan Empire. And I just felt like I needed to give Malazan another read. So instead of beginning the series all the way from the first book, I decided just to pick up the Duskades again from page one this time, because last time I got to around page 400, and I started to read this book all the way from page one to see if I'll get to the end. And a big reason why I wanted to read this book is because a lot of people say that they change their mind about the series when they get to the end, because apparently the ending of this book is absolutely phenomenal. So I was really, really determined to get to the end of the Duskades. Now, initially, I read the first four 400 pages and I was doing okay but around at the halfway point I felt like I just need to take a tiny break so I took a break for around two or three weeks and then I picked up this book again and I read another 200 pages and that is when I really really hit a point where I just almost hated reading this book so I made a video which you might have seen where I asked Melissa fans to give me some help some encouragement some advice on how I could actually finish this book because I was really 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 struggling so before I give you an update of where where I am with my Malazan journey, I would love to read some of those comments that you left because yes, I did receive a couple of comments where people just said I probably wasn't smart enough to understand or enjoy the series, which I mean, it might be true. You're stupid. But 95% of the comments were incredibly helpful and some even left almost like essay long comments explaining what had happened in this book, how I could get through it and so on. So if you're one of them, I really, really appreciate it. I, I mean it, the comments have been really, really nice for the most part. Okay, let's just read some of these comments. Wanting to love something isn't the same as actually enjoying it. I'm sure Molesson fans wouldn't want you to keep reading something you don't enjoy. Not every series is for everyone. Enjoy the books you read. Firstly, I really do appreciate the comment and I think that most readers would actually agree with this. If you don't enjoy something, maybe you should just stop reading. But man, the way people talk about the series is almost like it's a life-changing experience. And that's why I wanted to read this so badly because people say this is the best fantasy series ever written or at least the people that enjoy it. And I've been wanting to be part of this fandom so much, but I might just have to follow your advice. I'd highly recommend the 10 Very Big Books podcast to take each chapter of each book and break it down with little to no spoilers. Now, I also really appreciate that advice, but the thing is, when I read this series the first time around, I spent so much time reading summaries of the chapters and so on, and it absolutely destroyed my enjoyment of the books because it was just so much work. I read for enjoyment first and foremost, and spending hours and hours hearing people talk about a series or the chapters or giving summaries or explaining stuff isn't that fun. I mean, if the author isn't able to explain what is going on, in the book and I need another source to enjoy it. I just feel like that's way, way too much work. Last time I did that, it absolutely destroyed my enjoyment. So this time around, I really just wanted to enjoy the experience and not read summaries and so on. But I do see that it can be really helpful for some. So if you're one of those that enjoy the podcast, great, but it's just not for me, but I do appreciate the advice. Reading Malazan is like fact-finding mission. You are not spoon-fed and you really have to pay attention to one-off lines since those are usually the most explanatory as far as the mechanics of the world. Enjoy the journey and in case no one else told you, the end of the series is worth it. Now that is definitely the truth. This series is extremely dense and you kind of have to read everything almost twice just to try to even get close to understanding what exactly is going on. And I think that is one of the things that is it's just not for me it is just too much work you have to read it so slowly you have to read it again and again and this isn't like a 50 page book where you have to read it slowly this is like 10,000 pages of ridiculously dense text and people say the ending is worth it but really if i'm not enjoying the first 9,999 pages then i seriously doubt if i'll enjoy actually the ending because if everything leading up to it is not enjoyable then the ending probably won't be either i have made it through memories of ice one thing that i worked for me is a chapter summary after each chapter. 
again, a lot of people recommend that, and I do really appreciate that people have actually put this work in to do chapter summaries, but for me, it just destroys my enjoyment of reading because I just want to read the book. In the Molasses subreddit, there are PowerPoint slides with recaps and explanations of each chapter. Okay, one thing that I have to mention is that I find it a bit weird that in the Molasses fandom, it's so normalized that you have to have additional resources to actually be able to get through this book somehow. Yes, it is wonderful that there are explanations and summaries out there, but really, do you not find it a bit strange that you have to read other sources to enjoy the story? Now, I know some of you might say, well, I only read the book and it was absolutely fine and you probably just are very, very smart. But the fact that it's so normalized in this fandom to have additional sources like podcasts or PowerPoints just to be able to get a hang of what is going on, I find that so strange. But that's probably just me. The third book, Memories of Ice, is amazing. It's still a bit confusing, but definitely the most fun to follow out of the first three books. Now, a lot of people say that you should at least give the first three books a read before giving up on the series. But guys, that is like almost 3,000 pages. And if I need to read 3,000 pages before I know if a series is for me, then I'm pretty sure the series won't be for me because at the very least, the first book should be all right and the second book should be a considerable step up. Asking someone to read 3,000 pages is a big, big ask. And for some of you, that's totally fine. But I think for most people, that is just a bit ridiculous, if I'm being honest. Currently reading this book, and I love it. I'm really glad to hear that. Yes, I'm confused as can be, and I have to read a little slower, and often have to reread chapters or even pages. And yes, I have so many questions. Okay, and I find this comment really interesting because I think it really highlights what is different from me compared to a lot of Malassan readers. While I don't mind a bit of confusion in my fantasy, I mean, most fantasy is confusing at times, and I don't mind the author not giving you all the answers. I just find this to be way 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 too much the fact that i'm 600 pages into book two and i barely still understand anything i mean i literally read 1200 pages of Malassan and I barely understand a single thing that is just way too much for me. I don't mind confusion but this is just too much. I recently finished book one and from my understanding these books are almost written to be reread. Now I heard of that a lot and I can definitely see that on a reread after you finish the whole series Malassan might be amazing but for me that is just too much work. I don't read because I want to work I read because I want to enjoy it and and for the most part this hasn't been enjoyable. All right I think that's enough and I also did receive a lot of comments really thanking me for sharing my opinions because a lot of people had very very similar experiences as I am currently having and a lot of people said I really need to push to the end of the Dead House Gates because as I mentioned in the earlier of this video apparently the ending is absolutely ridiculous but it's finally time to give you a status of what has happened since I made the last video. Have I actually been able to finish this book? Have I loved it? Have I hated it? Or what is going on? Okay but the honest truth is that since I made that video I've only read around 10 more pages and that's around a month ago since I made that video. I made that video and then I waited around two weeks or two and a half weeks and then I tried picking up this book again and I read around 10 pages but literally guys everything in me just screamed don't read this don't read this this is not fun this is too much work just stop reading pick up something else and I'm not even exaggerating when I'm saying here I have around 0% motivation to continue this series at this point I'm not enjoying it it is just simply too much work I really appreciate what Ericsson has crafted here and it literally breaks my heart that I haven't been able to understand why people love the series so much but I just have to admit I simply do not think this is a series for me and the main reason I think so isn't just because there's a lot of confusion but it's just because I don't relate to the characters at all and I am a very character driven reader. Yes, the world building is phenomenal. Yes, Ericsson prose is great at times and it's extremely atmospheric and the handling of themes is fascinating, but I'm not even exaggerating here. I couldn't tell you almost anything about anyone in this world at the moment because I just don't care about the characters and that is the main drawback. And again, Ericsson, he isn't trying to write a Robin Hobb or Joe Abercrombie book. That is not his intention, so I'm not going to criticize him for not writing characters that I feel attached to because yes I don't relate to the characters but I do understand the characterization is really really great it's just very very different but I just have to tell you guys that for now this is a soft leaning to a hard DNF I find it very very unlikely I will ever pick up Malassan again because I've given this series a try two times now but who knows maybe in two years time I'll again feel this calling to me and I'll want to pick it up what this whole experience has really taught me is that we readers we enjoy different stuff and I think that is absolutely
absolutely beautiful and wonderful. And if you love Malasan, then I'm so happy for you because I know how impactful this read has been for so many people. Believe me, I really wanted to be part of your fandom. I really, really tried. But at this point in time, I just have to confess, this series isn't working for me and there are just too many books out there to read something that I'm not enjoying. So that is it. It is finally time to say goodbye to Malasan. Who knows, I might come back to the series one day, but for now, I'll probably never figure out how this book ends, and I'm actually totally okay with that. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for supporting me on my Malasan journey. If you read Malasan, let me know your thoughts. And if you're one of those who left a comment on my last video, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And as always, a special thanks to my patrons support with you here. I really appreciate it. <laughs>